There are four major areas of career path when it comes to internal accountancy. Somehow, I have been privileged able to work in all of these four areas. Like anything cash is how much they earn, you know, how much do they get paid? Is it big money? Is it huge? So first, let's talk about money. Could it be good? Exactly. <laughs> welcome back again to my channel so in this video we are starting a new series which is like the career series and in today's video we are going to be discussing what chartered accountants actually do they are also called CAs when you hear me say CAs then I'm referring to chartered accountants so that's the, that's an acronym for chartered accountant we're going to be talking about what they do career options available so before we start please if you are new to this channel please join the family by hitting the subscribe button and also turning your bell notification so as you already know or if you are not aware I'm a qualified chartered accountant from the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria I have a couple of video links right here or here right here where I shared my journey so far as well as my graduation or convocation vlog so if you are wondering what is ca what do ca's do or what can you do with ca's this video is for you basically you are going to be discussing about the duties of chartered accountant career opportunities available for them and their career path so without so much ado let's go straight into the video but first you might want to know who is a chartered accountant so in a layman a layman perspective is that chartered accountants count for you like chartered accountants counts like what your accountants do they just basically basically count it's always um attributed or glued to anything finance associated with cash like anything cash money could ego exactly so that's the layman perception you know of chartered accountant which is not all wrong as it's weird but there are more to accounting there are more to chartered accountancy aside money and cash straight up google you see an internal accountant is an internationally recognized financial professional who manages budget, auditing, taxes, and business strategy for clients. As a CA, you can work for businesses, government, and individuals. So your job basically is to provide expert financial advice and help clients manage their funds. So you might ask, what exactly do they do? Well, there's no direct or straight answer as to what CAs do because the career path is so broad. Basically, Chartered accountants do a whole lot of things and once you qualify, you can function in different kind of fields. There are four major career paths for CEs. Accounting, finance, auditing and taxation. That's, that's tax. Right. So post-qualification, these are main areas you would specialize in as a chartered accountant. And then you choose the one you most prefer. Somehow, I have been privileged and able to, you know, work in all of these four areas and will let you in on my experiences as the series progresses. In all of these four areas, I will be giving a summary of each sector, the positions available in that particular field and the skills that are needed in that field. First, let's talk about finance. So the first being finance basically involves like transition roles. Let's talk about banking. I mean, we could say that, you know, Banking is part of finance. I mean, I remember while I was schooling in my uni days, there's a department called banking and finance. So you already know that they work hand in hand, right? So yes, banking is under finance. And in banking, we also have, you know, different roles that you can take up. We have operations, you know, we have investment banking and the likes M and A, that's major and acquisition. We have debt. Those are you know the business units you can also that, that are associated with banking. But then other areas in finance involved asset management, private equity, insurance and so on. The key skills you needed in finance, you know, we talk about financial modeling, working with data basically, lots of evaluation as well. For finance, entry level such as, you know, finance intern, you can have finance analyst, treasurer, finance controller, credit controller, advisory roles of, you know, finance controller, finance manager, CFO, that's chief financial officer, head of finance. Let's talk about accounting. Accounting. The career path, you know, talks about financial reporting, financial accounts, management accounting, cost accounting, you know, from basic bookkeeping to complex financial analysis. Accounting is one of the responsibilities of a chartered accountant. Also in accounting, we have forensic accounting, corporate accounting, public accounting, government accounting. So the relevant positions you can occupy in this field are 
you know you can start from the entry level of junior accountant account intern accounting officer bookkeeper account assistant and um, then which one was the one i did then um i think i was um what's it called can't remember okay accountant you know you can also be an account manager and staff accountant and then from there you can progress to a more higher role which uh, account manager account supervisor head of accounting dma that's cost and management accountant finance manager and so you can basically summarize accounting as reporting a transaction that's like recording the money okay so everything relates to documentation you know try to get all the records together and make it make sense is the work of an accountant you know at the roles in accounting this is the second area of specialization these four sectors then let's talk about taxation this area of specialization has to do with reporting as well as advising on the tax leg of the money the position includes tax specialist tax consultant, assistant tax manager, tax advisory, tax analyst, head of tax, and the likes. For auditing, auditing is basically, you know, the verifying of information of data. So it simply means like we are verifying the transaction from start to finish. So you have to be aware of, you know, the other three fields. Like it, does, it doesn't have to be like a deep um, what's it called? Like a depth of knowledge, right? But you really have to be aware of maybe the processes because it's like you are verifying from the very beginning what the accountant has done, like what has been done in accounting, what has been done in finance, what has been done in taxation, like has the um, taxes properly been remitted? Is it the correct amount? You know, all of those things. An auditor has to be aware of all of this, you know, to ensure correctness, basically doing a walkthrough to confirm accuracy and appropriateness of all transactions. So you check, you know, checking through the monitors, you know, auditing, you can also say audit and assurance because as an auditor, you are giving after you know verifying all the transaction you are giving an opinion you are assuring the client or you are assuring whoever it is you are dealing with that okay these financial statements these records i've checked are free of errors you know like exactly the position includes auditors head of auditing you can have internal auditors you can have external auditors head of compliance and control you can even have it it audit as well so you can become a partner in a firm like this like all these big four firm like big four right and you know entry level involves like audit interns audit associates audit junior junior auditor yeah so next time when ca comes to mind or when you ask what do chartered accountants actually do you can easily say they specialize in four major areas which could span from finance to accounting to taxation and to audit so that's what we do as a as chartered accountant so the skills in accounting the key skills needed in accounting are communication you have to be able to communicate with your clients communicate with you know the people that you are maybe getting data from or providing data to right you have to understand what what you are putting together recording and time management in fact majority of these skills are kind of like you no know, just for the other field because i mean <laughs> time management has to be helping everybody right problem solving attention to details critical thinking and all accountants know that integrity tops the list right yeah you i mean you are keeping people's money people's information and a whole lot then for audit it's like a more advanced of of you know the accounting like instead of just ordinary attention to details we have meticulous attention to details because you have to it's like auditing at some point i used to call it kacha kacha work like i see police is chasing teeth i remember in bank when i was working at the bank like i always like want to be so at the beginning of my career i'm going to go deep in another video right i'd always wanted to be a banker like long a long time ago you guys like a long time ago okay <laughs> so i'd always wanted to be a banker when i go to bank maybe to make transaction while i was quite young i was just going to, I'll, I'll see the bankers wearing you know suits and heels and stuff i'm just gonna be like oh i'm gonna be like that oh i'm like <laughs> but you guys when i entered the bank i mean for a while i started feeling like okay so this is not the way it is right anyways that story is going to be told another time but right now what my point is like while i was working at, at the bank you know 
we had auditors like internal auditors that you know check whatever it is we are doing so when auditor is around everybody's like caution like extra because they are just all house day their major job is to catch you they just want to see you do wrong maybe not but i mean they they, they are always finicky about every transaction like you have to do you just have to do things right when they're around, right? So that's that's my point. So what? And it, I mean, you can't blame them because a whole lot of frauds. You just need to really, really pay attention to details because before you know it, things have passed your back. I be out there to put it. What be exactly? And then instead of ordinary problem solving skills, and for the lack of better word, that's why I'm using ordinary. Like. I, I, when it, as regards the accounting, when it comes to audits, it has to be excellent problem solving skills, right? <laughs> because you are basically checkmating what the accountant has done. So you have to have more, like a, a higher a higher hand, basically like an upper hand as to what the person you are checkmating has done. You can't expect the person you are checkmating to be smarter than you. Hello. <laughs> and then as to every other, you know, finance related, um, CA related job, integrity, and then for an auditor, objectivity is important as well. You know, among others, we have independence and so on. For finance, you have to be good in accounting. You have to have problem solving skills as well. You have to be mathematically knowledgeable as, as well as analytical know-how because there are kind of like technicalities when it comes to finance. You know, we talk about data and um, what's it called, like data processing, data analysis, you know, a whole lot that go into it. In all of this, your micro your Microsoft Excel advanced skills has to be top notch, like has to be game, okay? I'm also still learning as well. You know, it's, it's never ending, but I'm just, you know, sharing some of these skills that I am aware of that you have to have when you are dealing with this field. Then, for tax, numeracy is very important. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I'm going to put it on the screen. Numeracy is, you have to be num numerically game. <laughs> If there's anyone like that okay because you are dealing with numbers you are dealing with figures so you have to be sharp time management is is very important like you have deadlines you have dates that you need to keep tabs or keep tabs on so you just have to know how to manage your time well as well as you know you have to know how to you know organize and prioritize I mean it's it's all of this animation is useful in every other field right formation so then attention to details and finally a good understanding of tax regulations and tax laws as well as tax returns calculation because I mean you have to be up to date with all these you know tax laws tax returns tax filing and you know all those other jargon like that so in summary finance there's a key the transaction close the deal and bring in the money accounting they record and report the transaction taxation advice as well as reports but on the tax leg of the money finally auditing ensure that everything that has to do with the money was properly done like with this full point of mind i hope you've been able to understand this career better one of the topics we'll also be having is how much do they earn you know how much do they get paid is it big money is it huge is it ham rubber salary kind of thing <laughs> oh well depending on the area of specialization or expertise the amounts varies but then we are going to be covering all that in this series so in subsequent videos you expect discussions surrounding you know such topics and let me know your opinion in the comment section if you would like to add to what i've said as an accountant or you know having experience or if you have questions as well you can just put it in the comment section let's relate thank you so much guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you learned one or two things from it i just want to document my you know career parts let's just say career diaries and I mean, as much as you learn, I'm also, you know, getting well, as you call it, you, some, you know, when you know something and then you're, you know, telling others, it makes you also aware of it the more. And in also, you know, explaining things to others or it just also makes learning easier and, you know, for you as well. But the more you share, the more you know more, the more you also research and life is good and the more life goes good <laughs> so thanks again for watching this video i hope you guys enjoy it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and 
click on the notification bell subscribe to the channel subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell so that you're going to get my next upload and then i'm going to see you guys in my next video and then i'm going to see you guys in my next one thank you so much for watching see you guys bye account manager you know spot are you serious this is torture you're torturing me and everyone else watching wait <laughs>